right there. See? Okay, let's go start there. It. Let's start there. All right. Yeah, scope of application, section one. The American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People applies to the indigenous people of the Americas. That's us. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What number two say? Self-identification as indigenous people will be a fundamental criteria for determining to whom this declaration applies. States shall respect the right to such self-identification as indigenous, whether individually or collectively, in keeping with the practices and institutions of each indigenous people. That part right there is telling you that you have to self-identify. See, the first thing it says, self-identification, that means that you identify yourself as an indigenous people and that you are the one responsible for stating your status, right? And the states shall respect the right to such self-identification as indigenous, whether it's an individual or a group, individually or collectively, in keeping with the practices and institutions of each indigenous people. That means that some tribes are slightly different in cultural expression of the same culture. Mm -hmm. One tribe might barbecue turkey for the for the chief, but another one might slaughter a bison. Mm -hmm. Right? But whichever one it is, we know what the culture is saying. All right? Article 2 says states recognize and respect the multicultural and multilingual character of indigenous peoples who are an integral part of their societies, right? When they say multicultural, uh, that means it's a whole lot of different cultures from the land. Mm -hmm. And then it say multilingual character. That mm -hmm. means that we got a lot of languages. Mm -hmm. So they can't say that, well, you don't speak this language. You ain't uh, indigenous. They can't say that because they right here acknowledging that. And um, they saying that we are an integral part of the society. Mm -hmm. Well, these things are an integral part of our societies, right? So then we go into Article 3. Indigenous people have the right to self-determination. What that mean? Your rights is not negotiable. They are inalienable. So self-determination is you got the right to determine which one of the chiefs you following, if you following the one in your direct bloodline descent, or if you following the one from your tribal clan descent. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's different per tribe across the land because they already told you we got a, a, a multi cultures on our land already before they came. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And by virtue of that right to self-determination, they freely determine their political status and freely pursue their economic social and cultural development that means that they can't interrupt us economically our social uh behaviors of our tribal affiliations they can no longer persecute us for wearing feathers in public mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right and cultural development that means going back to our original um traditions and customs because we have to go back to our shit to overthrow their shit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, people, group, or persons any right to engage in any activity or to perform any act contrary to the character of the Organization of American States or of the Charter of the United Nations or construed as authorizing or encouraging any action 
which would dismember or impair totally or in part the territorial integrity and political unity of sovereign and independent states. What that mean? Yeah. That means that Article 4 of this declaration says that the United Nations can't interfere in our business, nor any other individual states um, that's under the Charter, Organization of American States, or the Charter of the United Nations. So the United Nations is also um, in an agreement with America, right, which gave them control of the policing policies on the land. That's why they closed now. Mm -hmm. Right? All right, let's go on to the next part. Do this do, do, look like we getting to something? That shit get lit, man. Mm -hmm. All right, human rights and collective rights. Right, full effect and observance of human rights. Remember what Malcolm said? We don't need civil rights. Yeah, right. He said we need human rights, right? Mm -hmm. This it right here. Indigenous people and individuals have the right to the full enjoyment of all human rights and fundamental freedoms as recognized in the charter of the United Nations, the Charter of the Organization of American States and International Human Rights Laws. That means this taking all of those people they just named in there, mm -hmm. that they saying they can't, they don't have, they can't interfere in our fundamental freedoms and our basic human rights any longer. Mm -hmm. Now remember, there was an occupied government masquerading as a de facto government when they were, I mean, as a de, a de jure government when they were, in fact, operating under the color of law in a de facto capacity and giving us the illusion that they had the authority, but all corporations derived their authority, all corporate political bodies from the people that they govern, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So if you don't give them the right to govern you, which Trump signed the, the second Declaration of Independence in July of 2020. Right? So I mm -hmm. sent that to you. We were probably yeah, going to yeah, get it out. up. Yep. So like the first five minutes of that video is fire. Yeah. All right? <laughs> now, okay. now we go to something called collective rights. That means when we stand together in unity, all this right here apply to us standing together as the collective unified clans on the land or the tribes of the land. Indigenous people have collective rights that are indispensable for their existence, well-being, and integral development as a people. In that regard, states recognize and respect the rights of indigenous people to their collective action, to their... Uh, that word look like it's misspelled. Action. Uh -uh, it's, 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 it's jur, jur, juridical, <laughs> uh, which it should have been jurisdictional, social, political, or judicial, social, political, and economic systems or institutions. This is giving us back control to Big Mama Bank right here. <laughs> to their own cultures. Our culture, we already had a banking system to profess and practice their spiritual beliefs, to use their own tongues and languages, and to their lands, territories, and resources, states shall promote with, with the full and effective, let's go to the next page. Oh, shit. Right there. Participation of indigenous peoples, the harmonious coexistence of the rights and systems of di different population groups and cultures. This is saying that one clan can't interfere with how another clan handle their business, but at the same time, all of us can come together um, in agreement to oust the imposter. That's basically what it's saying. 
Um, keep going, keep going. We don't deal with them because we already know what the gender thing is with our people. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Rights belong to indigenous people. Right to belong to indigenous people. Indigenous individuals and communities have the right to belong to one or more indigenous peoples in accordance with the identity, traditions, customs, and systems of belonging of each people. No discrimination of any kind may arise from the existence of such a right. Right? So they right. recognize that we got different cultures under tribes and they recognize that we shouldn't be, there's no more discrimination based on that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, ju judicial personality. Oh, that's a good one. States shall recognize is that that is that judicial? I can't really tell. It looked like okay, states shall recognize fully the judicial personality of indigenous people respecting indigenous forms of organization and promoting the full existence of the rights recognized in this declaration. That look like juridical. Yeah, that's what they think it is. I don't think it's uh, yeah juridical. Yeah, that's a uh, uh, coming from the word root word juris juris yeah. as in jurisprudence. Matter of, fact, matter of fact, yeah, you got the legal dictionary. Pull in the definition of that motherfucker up so we can get more detail with this shit. That shit ain't running no game. How they play the words, man. Be now, the two most important parts I want to get to after we define this word is where they said that, because this one made me think about it. It's <clears throat> like... Indigenous people had a right to maintain, express, and freely develop their cultural identity in all respects, free from any external attempt at assimilation. That means they can no longer force us to assimilate into the overall society in order to be functional as a tribe. That means that we... We can do business with our own and, and we ain't going to suffer no backlash from it. And remember what Garvey said, beware of them assimilationists as Negroes. That joint not even in this joint. Oh, let's see. I might can pull up on... Uh... Okay. In the civil law of Louisiana, the expression of will that is intended to have legal consequences. Read that yeah, again. So kind of like static when he was reading. Says, it says in in expressing our will that is intended to have legal consequences. Yeah, so it goes back to the root word, like I said, juris, which is yeah. dealing with the law. So this is mm -hmm. saying that there will be lawful impact um, for interfering with us. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So now we want to go to the part where they say we got a right to all tribal lands. Because this is the Protecting against genocide. People have the right not to be the object, objects of any form of genocide or intended to exterminate them. Damn, that's already happening. I suppose we think it is to go down to the land. Uh, right, of course, you're identifying it. Okay, I, that's not it. And that's right, some good stuff right here for uh, to teach your kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Especially in America. This part right here was talking uh, about going back to our own culture. Now this is giving us the right to educate our children right here. Okay. 
education. You want to uh, okay, keep on going? Mm hmm. All right, go down, go down. Indigenous spiritual. That's like the practice. Oh, whatever. stop right there. We got to read that. Our spirituality uh, is important enough for us to read that here on page 17. That's a cute flip. Indigenous people had a right to write freely to exercise their own spirituality and beliefs and by virtue of that right to practice, develop, transmit and teach their traditions, customs and ceremonies and to carry them out in public and in private, whether individually or collectively. So this is so that when we have Mardi Gras from coast to coast, nobody don't try to stop us. That's what that's for. Mm -hmm. Uh, you gonna read the part two or keep on going down? I, I want to go to the part on the land, on land, okay, indigenous family. and the resources. Okay, all right, here. All uh, right, to take care of environment. All right, re resemble freedom. It's kind of like, like the Constitution is kind of like based on some of this stuff too, with, with all the add-ons. Mm-hmm. Right there, stop. Okay. Right here. Back back up. Okay. Autonomy and self-government. That's important. Okay, right there. Yeah. Remember, I was telling you to be auto uh it's autonomous. Self-government is to govern yourself, is to be autonomous. This mm -hmm. is right here. Mm -hmm. The right to autonomy or self-government. Indigenous people, in exercising their right to self-determination, have the right to autonomy or self-government in matters relating to their internal and local affairs, as well as ways and means for financing their autonomous functions. So they saying from this the, that they got it's got to be provided for them to do this. Uh -huh. Provisions got to be made. Right. Two, indigenous people had a right to maintain and develop their own decision making institutions. This talking about restoring the matriarchy right here. Mm -hmm. They also have the right to participate in decision making in matters which would affect their rights. Anything affect our rights. If we ain't in it, they can't do it. OK. They may do so directly or through representatives and in accordance with their own norms, procedures, and traditions. They also have a right to equal opportunities in accessing and participating fully and effectively as peoples in all national institutions and forums, including deliberative bodies. That means no politics go down and they exclude us. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. they, they're right there. They agree that don't no politics go down on this land called the Americas and we ain't in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Indigenous law and jurisdiction. <clears throat> Indigenous people had a right to promote, develop and maintain their institutional structures and their distinctive customs, spirituality traditions, procedures, practices, and in the cases where they exist, judicial systems or customs in accordance with international human rights standards. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Excuse me, one second. Okay, all right. Okay, so, um, and then it say, indigenous law and legal systems shall be recognized and respected by national, regional, and international legal systems. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is because when when we kicked them off the land, they jurists got to go. They bar associations have to go. Right. And you already heard them say that they've been already told to leave. Yeah, they formed I that video, didn't I? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Now, matters concerning indigenous individuals or their rights 
or interest in the jurisdiction of each state shall be conducted in such a way as to afford indigenous individuals the right to full representation with dignity and equality before the law. Consequently, they are entitled without discrimination to equal protection and benefit of the law, including the use of linguistic and cultural interpreters. Right? So now it's a part in here. Let's hold on. It's a uh, in, it's a uh matters concerning indigenous individuals or their rights or interests in the jurisdiction of each state shall be conducted in such a way as to afford indigenous individuals the right to full representation with dignity and equality before the law. This is the part where we call Larry Hoover for with this. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he has to give a report on the land to the rest of the chiefs and he can't do it as an inmate. Mm -hmm. He can't mm -hmm. be a bond servant and a king or a prince or a chief. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is what this is telling us he has to give us this report. They already know that this is part of our longstanding tradition before they ever came here. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why they said we're not going to remember our culture. This is telling us when we lean on our culture, our culture, they have to accommodate. That's what that's saying. Mm -hmm. So this is the part where we calling for Free Larry Hoover right here because the three kings represent full representation on the world stage. Mm -hmm. And you see right here where it say they are entitled without discrimination to equal protection and benefit of the law, including the use of linguistic and cultural interpreters. Um, mm -hmm. and equality. OK, so it was one before that where it was saying it, this is even applying international law. Right. So the goal is to go back to our culture. That's right. That's right. That's heavy. Go ahead. All right. So now let's see if we can't find about the land. Okay. Let's go down. Trees agreements. This is good stuff right here to have in the archives, man. Yeah. This is this is the here you go right here. Traditional is forms of property and cultural right to land, territory, and resources. Now watch what it say. Because okay. it's, now remember, this is legally, so every word, I'll go back up. I got every you right there. Word, every word is deliberate and intentional. Mm -hmm. It's been scrutinized by many, many legal writers for every single word. So this is important to know at this part of the read. It's number one, indigenous people have the right to maintain and strengthen their distinctive spiritual, cultural, and material relationship with their lands, territories, and resources, and to uphold their responsibilities to preserve them for themselves and for future generations. That's giving us the entirety of the land right there to take charge of, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Indigenous people have the right to the lands, territories, and resources. That's reparations, y'all. Resources, which they have traditionally owned, occupied, or otherwise used and acquired, right? That's critical. Mm -hmm. Indigenous people have the right to own, use, develop, and control. See that word control in there? Yeah, control. Lands, territories, and resources that they possess by reason of traditional ownership or other traditional occupation mm -hmm. or use as well as those which they otherwise acquire. Mm -hmm. This is telling you right here that the clan that used to be over uh, the coal mines, they're going to inherit the coal mines. Mm -hmm. And the wealth accumulated with interest from coal mines ever since them motherfuckers been here. Mm -hmm. That's the resource that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right? 
Okay, let's go to the next one. Well, yeah. States shall give legal recognition and protection to these lands, territories, and resources. Again, such recognition shall not be conducted with due respect to the customs, traditions, and land tenure system of the indigenous pe peoples concerned. Right? Mm -hmm. So they that means that they have to honor the tradition of the people that's concerned or that's making the the the, the people known to what's going on on the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Now it says indigenous people have the right to legal recognition of the various and particular modalities that mean different modes and forms of property possession and ownership of their lands, territories, and resources. Keep saying resources. Yeah, right. That's heavy. Right? That's all of the stuff that they grab from the earth to sustain the life of the people on the earth. Those are resources. In accordance with the legal system of each state and the relative or the relevant international instruments, states shall establish special regiments appropriate for such recognition and for their effective demarcation or titling. That means that we can change the uh, boundary lines according to clans and tribal traditions back to what they was, mm -hmm. if we so choose to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that's what demarcation or uh, titling is. That's uh, holding deeds to land that you can rent out, which means you tax and to draw the boundary lines, uh, uh, how much of the land is in place, encased in this land, this boundary. Mm -hmm. That's called a land of demarcation. Right? Hey, hey, the Louisiana Purchase was bigger, that, that, that Louisiana Purchase land that they had, it was it, it was bigger than just Louisiana when, when they did that. Uh, yeah. Land. So mm -hmm. what they did is um, they followed the Rocky Mountains up the West Coast to Oregon and Washington State. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they marched back across the land. They went to uh, the Appalachian Mountains. So it's mm -hmm. everything south of the Mississippi. I mean, not uh, the Canadian border. Everything south of the Canadian border. Um. West of the Appalachian Mountains, east of the Rocky Mountains, going down into Louisiana. That's Big Mama Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Cook it up with Big Mama. Man. Right. Now, all of our uh, settlers, anybody that came, had mm -hmm. to settle on the eastern side of the Rock of the Appalachians that if they came from the uh the east if mm -hmm. they came from the west they had to settle on the western portion um of from the rockies on the western side to the coast mm -hmm. right until they was able to get a viable piece of land um big mama would allot them a piece of land once they've been around and the nature of them is seen mm -hmm. then she give them a plot of land and tell them vine and fig tree what you do on this land is your own vine and fig tree, but we all go to pay homage to Big Mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. when you send your delegations across, you have your chief scouts check in with the chief scouts on the land and the territory you traverse. Mm -hmm. We don't want people coming through without us knowing they coming through because it looked like they under attack. Mm hmm because mm -hmm. we travel in caravans and groups. Mm -hmm. And when we all went to fight in the Seminole Wars, we left in tribes. Mm -hmm. Right? And they called them mm -hmm. Seminoles because that's actually from uh, a Latin word which means to be mixed. Semi. Mm -hmm. Partial because mm -hmm. we was a mixture of tribes. Mm -hmm. Right now, they tell the story that the Seminoles was African escaped slaves and Native Americans to try to make us think that we mm -hmm. didn't have nobody that looked like us over here. Mm -hmm. Now, 
I keep telling people the Africans been telling us for the longest we indigenous over here. Mm -hmm. We organic to the land over here. Ab original. That mean original from the heart. Ab is the Egyptian word, mean heart. Mm -hmm. Right? So we are ab original. We from the original or or energy is source energy. Ab or, right? And then you add mm -hmm. the suffix original. Mm -hmm. Right? Of, of or pertaining to those two things. Mm -hmm. The heart of the origin or the or energy, source energy. That's mm -hmm. tying us back on the maker, cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. Thus says Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That's all wise, right, and exact. Mm -hmm. What the people in the um, comments talking about? We ain't we ain't made no acknowledgement of the comments yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The comments, they just, uh, you know, they're shouting us out, keeping it true. Any warlord, Inky, was a scientist. Okay. Hey, if you got any comments, uh, I mean, any questions for the brother Rod Haynes, post them in the comments. Like I say, I posted this. Uh, you know, the brother don't do it for money, but you know, we like to show the brother love because the big brother look because he coming through, he be dropping it on us, man. He be giving us uh, the you no know, pieces that we need. So uh, I posted his uh, cash app in the uh, links. So hit him up, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about sending uh, young L nut, man. Just send it to the brother Rod Haynes. And uh, uh. Yeah, so we got any questions, man? Hit us up, man, because we could keep going, but we want to we want to get some feedback from y'all so we can see, you know, what we, what we could talk about. Okay, so yeah. let's let's see if we can't find the resources part, um, yeah, where it was that. talking about where it's talking about the resources. Okay, label rights. Okay, let me do it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, I think here's some reputation, culture, heritage, and property. Um, is that a good one? Stop, okay. stop, stop, stop. Back up. Okay. Right there. Right there. Okay. So this is protection of cultural heritage and intellectual property. This mm -hmm. is for the people in the music and entertainment industry who've been getting 360 raping you record deals. Right. Mm -hmm. And for the ones that's <laughs> That the Jewish <laughs> Defense League, the JDL, was murdering them, following mm -hmm. that order of the Catholic Church that we went over earlier. Mm -hmm. Right? And when mm -hmm. they was murdering them, they was taking they, they earned property because their intellectual property is theirs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they was tricking them out of it and signing them into contracts. Mm -hmm. Using a system of levy and liens in order to leave the family deprived after the fact. That means that everything they took from Paris Jackson, they have to give it back to her. Uh-huh. Damn. That's crazy. The whole father estate that they took from her, the Sony records got to go back to her. All of that got to go back to her. And um, because he was, he didn't default on his estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got to give her the opportunity to adjust the records of the estate, which she haven't, she couldn't have had enough time to do that because she was a baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right so right. they had to hold it the proper process in law is hold the estate in abeyance until the children turn old enough to resolve the estate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they got rid of it before her 18th birthday she didn't reach the age of majority they got to give it all back to her they robbed the baby Damn. they robbed the baby with their lies they, they literally robbed the baby of her father's hard-earned estate. Dang. Right? So this is what this is talking about right here. All right. You want to go down? You want to find yeah. that part about the uh, resources, though, right? To the right to development. That's, that's... Indigenous people had a right to maintain and determine their own priorities with mm -hmm. respect to their political, economic, social, and cultural development in conformity with their own Cosmo vision. They mm -hmm. also have the right to be guaranteed the enjoyment of their own means of sustenance and development and to engage freely in, the, in their economic activities. This is right here is our family bank. Okay. This is telling us that we have to put our family banks back together 
so we can decentralize the centralized bank and everybody big mama going to have their own family bank and mm -hmm. their own accountants in the family, their money handlers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say the right include the development of policies, plans, program, and strategies and the exercise of their right to development and to implement them in accordance with their political and social organizations, norms, and procedures, own Cosmo vision and institution. So when they say Cosmo vision, right, mm -hmm. that means your cosmology, cosmogony review. How do you see the creation story is your own business, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And that they don't have no right to step on your belief systems um, with your cosmic vision. We destined to rule Earth. Why did mm -hmm. we say that? Because we have the blood tied to the land of the rulers of the Earth. That's mm -hmm. all. It's nothing mm -hmm. personal. It's just family.